It's two men who want nothing more in this world to prove to not only the fans here, but to each other that they're the best. Shapiro, you talk about fight forever. This is the culmination of a war tonight. It certainly is. Sat down with him, like I said. 
He said, I am the reason all this came to fruition without Travis. Broadway is nothing. Called Broadway an unloyal piece of garbage. Broadway literally threw away the key to the lock and Broadway going to work in the corner. Look at that. Matt Travis wants Broadway to bring it. Breaking his face on the steel. On the same night that Canelo Alvarez makes his debut at Madison Square Garden, we've got a prize fight of another kind here. And it's more about pride than anything else, because Broadway could have been House of Glory World Champion walking into tonight, but Matt Travis cost him that. Travis trying to, an unpredictable athlete, trying to find a way out of that. Cover here, just like Shapiro said, said everything that Broadway has think he worked hard for, he will personally see that, it, that he loses it all. Those are direct words from Matt Travis. But Broadway currently has the win-loss record in his favor against Matt Travis. Pretty much embarrassed Matt Travis a few months ago. So right now, you gotta wonder, is that in Matt Travis's head? Well, JD, I mean, you know, this is stuff from Travis thinking that Broadway was soft. Uh, yes. Yeah, he had gone soft, and that's really the, where all of this began. It goes back to last year, and it's built up to this moment right here. All because of Leroy Green Shapiro, you remember that? Oh, I certainly do. Vividly, that last man standing match. Broadway showed some sympathy and compassion for Leroy Green, and Matt Travis did not like it. And if there is one kind of match where sympathy and compassion are, are not part of the match, the it's just like it's this deal. Don't mean to interrupt. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, so gentlemen. Like that's not that's there. not that's not just a staple gun, guys. A staple gun? Oh, jeez. Oh my God! Broadway tried to staple Travis's head. Have an odd feeling the New York State Athletic Commission is not the building tonight. These men know it. They're gonna go stride for stride and try to break one another. Headbutt by Travis. Standing moonsault by Travis. Beautiful cover. You know, they call Matt Travis murder by kicks. Not only does he study professional wrestling, but he's a student of MMA. Watches a lot of older pride, watches a lot of UFC. Tries to gain as much experience in embracing pain as possible. Murder by kicks tonight. He's calling himself unshamed. Almost dislocating that knee there. Jason, you've seen your fair share of cage matches in the past. From what you've seen across nearly 50, 60 years of cage matches, what's the one thing that changes about a man once they raise that cage and they all go home? Well, I mean, look, I think in a match like this, you got to worry that you're walking in. You're not going to walk out the same way you walk in, you know? Blood will be spilled, bones will be broken. When you have two men as, with as personal an issue as these two guys, you know, there's no telling at what level they're going to take this to. Right now, Matt Travis, he looks like a man possessed inside that cage. Throws that ball away, head first into that steal. Staple gun in the ring. I don't, I don't know what else is inside that bag that Broadway brought to the ring. I, I see a staple gun. I don't see any TPS reports. No, I do. No. Once again. Is that the stapler? The staple gun's not red in the swing line, but I, I caught it. I caught it. Well, then again, we don't know what's in his bag of tricks. It's true. Could still be in there. These two will go to any lengths. If you guys remember on Instagram, Broadway was conducting a Q&A to hype this match up here at Hoggate. Travis coaxed him into a bar fight that resulted in both men getting arrested and glass bottles broken over both men's skulls. That's what happens when you, when you grow up on the street, once you grow up in that kind of environment, it doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter if it's in a bar or a steel cage or in the middle of the BQE. Look at Broadway's head. Being graded against that cage. Well, look, I mean, you can take the man off the street, you can't take the street out of the man. There are just certain things that are with you throughout your entire life. There's a certain level of PTSD for both of these gentlemen that walking into this mass, it's got to bring back some memories. Growing up in the South Bronx, with money making the hat, both of these guys didn't come from much. Went through public school, went through low income housing. And this is probably bringing back a lot of those memories right now. Matt Travis, like Jason said, has been a man possessed. He wants nothing more to be the man here in House of Glory. He feels like management has overlooked him. 
He wants his opportunity. And I can't say he's not, you know, I can't say he's wrong. He's got valid points to why he should be in the title picture. He lost that number one contenders match a few months ago to Evander James. Less said about the match tonight. But Travis showed a lot of intensity. And with a win here tonight, I wouldn't see why not. Why not give him a title shot? Travis in control. Oh my god, he's got the staple gun now. Oh my goodness. Travis is unhinged. Who knows what he might do with that staple gun? Well, I've got a few ideas. None of them are good. No. The pen will probably talk to you. Oh, oh my god! Broadway look in pain as Travis loads another clip. That is metal penetrating flesh. It's got one of those dollars, one of those cash flow dollars. The shoot bucks of professional wrestling. I don't believe this, guys. Travis is stapling. One of those $100 bills right to Broadway's skull. There's a tip for you. Oh my god! Cena finally pulls Travis off of Broadway. Absolutely sadistic. An eerie hush has just fallen over the NYC arena. Let's not remember the reason why Matt Travis came into House of Glory was because he thought Ken Broadway had gone soft. He had too many ye yes men around him, too many people in his ear, and Broadway tried. He was trying to bring the hood mentality back into Broadway's life, and it seemed like it worked for a while, but he went soft. Broadway now, fighting back up. Lefts and rights, right into Travis. Those fists are closed, but it doesn't matter, it's a cage match. Murder by kicks there. German suplex cover. Wow. Dangerous game there played by Travis at Broadway. A little too close to the ropes. It's referee's discretion if he wants to count a rope break inside a steel cage. So we're going to see how that comes into play a little bit later on. Travis took a little bit of time there, but now he's trying to climb up and sound strategy. Broad pick looks. Looks in a really bad way. Travis now looking to escape the cage. Kicks Broadway down as Broadway tried to stop Travis from escaping. Now Broadway's climbing right up there with Travis. What? No, 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 no. Come for Sunset. Flip power bomb. Did Travis. Broadway. Holding on.
this is sadistic, guys. I don't believe what I'm watching here. Every staple gun shot. Every kick to the face. Cashflow kick! Roll up, rolls through. Big boot. Pump handle. Huge power slam cover. And Travis kicks out. Shapiro, it's hard to pick a winner here, dude. It seems so evenly matched right now. And you knew, you knew it was going to be something like this, but I don't know that anybody could have predicted it would be this vicious. The thing, Jason, is... Oh, is that a... Uh, we all know oh, what yeah, happens oh. when someone pulls out that, ladies I feel oh. like he didn't get that from the corner store. And he, there, now there's a clear advantage, Jason. Of, oh, 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 boy. Oh, fantastic. Travis. Oh, Travis trying to fall Travis right sees out. that. Smart strategy. Has, will be Ken Broadway's downfall. As Broadway is making Travis's potential bet for those thumbtacks. Both men now teetering on the top rope of this steel cage. Ooh. Aiming for the right for that jaw head. Repeated headbutts by Travis. Both men reeling. Oh, you can man. See the cage starting to bend. Oh, no. Oh, my God! Oh. Pride cometh before the fall, and the fall is pretty damn hard. I think this crowd says it all. They just took a trip to the ultraviolet strip club. Broadway's left arm. Broadway's left arm. Covered in tax. As he's trying to peel them off one by one. You know, we said before these two men were not entering the cage and leaving the same way. I think it's safe to say that that's uh, being borne out right now right yeah. before our eyes. Broadway now, looking for a way out. He's got to reach the floor, either the platform or the floor, as long as two feet hit. Travis now up. Oh, man. Drives Broadway's leg into the steel. As Broadway is teetering on the top of that cage. So, so dangerous. Is out. So dangerous. And there are some barbs on the top of that chain link. So if they land the wrong way, they can tear some skin off. Broadway in a world of trouble here. Trying to skirt himself along, trying oh, to find... Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't like this at all, guys. AD, I got an uneasy feeling about this. Me too. That's a plastic bag. He's got that plastic backpack. Shades of Chapter 3, Shapiro. Suffocating Broadway. Going into the Terry Funk playbook, trying to smother Broadway. Nothing Zeno can do about it down below. They're 10, 15 feet high. Broadway can call, crash through that stage. He might be able to get the win, but he might not be able to walk home. Oh, my God. Travis now completely standing on top of that steel cage.
crippled himself. I think Ken Broadway's got to be on autopilot right now. How did he kick out of that? We go back to that age-old question. Is it better to be smart or just crazy? Because these guys are just... Their minds. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Travis Smart now. Thing to do would have been not to kick out. Travis now, back up top. How's Broadway trying to pull himself together? Near the top of the cage, Broadway has absolutely nothing left. Desperate here. Travis looks you in the eyes and tells you that he personally will see that Broadway will lose it all. You have to believe him. Turns the kick! Is he asking for sympathy here? No, he's not. That's a pretty declarative statement right there. Back in the bag. Oh, what? What the heck is that? No, no, there's a barbecue skill! Oh, my goodness! The, oh, God! No, 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 no! Currency pick! Good God, come on! One, two, Broadway wins it! Yeah. 